And that's not all. Jack Phillips joins us live along with General Counsel for the Alliance Defending Freedom. Kristen Wagner, welcome back to both of you. Good to see you. Good Thank to see you. you too. Thank you. So back in court this week, uh, you got a call from an attorney, Jack, uh, years ago, the day your case was taken up by the Supreme Court, saying, I want a cake that's pink on the outside, on the inside, blue on the outside. I want to do a gender transition. Um, your shop turned that down. My understanding is the person also said, OK, well, then will you bake a cake with Satan smoking a joint on it? Uh, so, uh, Jack, what is going on here? And, and what does it mean for you, your family, your business, um, when another legal dispute like this kicks up? Well, this, this uh, trial this last week has been especially hard for us uh, to sit there as a man and watch your, your wife be uh, bullied around by the uh, opposing attorney and then to sit there and have to watch him do the same thing to your daughter, all the while just trying to destroy you and your life and your business and all your hopes and your dreams. It's, it's been a very hard week. Bill McGurn writes about this in the Wall Street Journal, and he says, um, when asked why she ordered the Satan cake, she said she wanted to believe Mr. Phillips was a good person, hoped to persuade him to see the errors of his thinking. That's some deal for someone you believe is probably a good person. Change your thinking or I will try to ruin you. Um, Kristen, why should others be concerned about this particular case? Activists are weaponizing our system of justice to make it an arm of culture, or, or, an arm of cancel culture, and they're trying to punish and ruin those with whom they disagree. Jack has been in the crosshairs for almost a decade, and there are others as well. Baronel Stutzman's case right now is pending at the Supreme Court, waiting to see if they'll hear it, and there are others. No American should be forced to express a message that violates their convictions. So, Jack, when you get a call about a gender transition cake or one with Satan smoking a joint or Halloween messages or other things uh, that you've turned down, um, do you know that it's another test? How do you view it? And do you worry about answering the phone sometimes? Uh, you know, we, we don't worry about the answering the phone. We have our, our set standards and we treat every customer the same. We create every cake that, that uh, we can that doesn't go against our principles. But also in this case, this attorney in a face-to-face -face meeting told me that if this case were dismissed or if I won this case or if there was any technicality or whatever and it went away, I would be getting a call from that attorney the very next day and there would be a new cake and a new case against us. I mean, Kristen, how does this end? I, I know that uh, there's a potential for this case to go back to the Supreme Court. What kind of finality do we need? So finding this balance between religious freedom rights, uh, the LGBT community, uh, what does the court need to say to kind of resolve that issue? The court needs to, the high court just needs to confirm what it has already said, which is that no one should be forced to express a message that violates their core beliefs. And it doesn't matter what side of the debate you're on. It applies to both sides because tolerance should be a two-way street. And our Constitution requires that. Jack, your final word on this and what you would say to those who want to ring up that phone and, and order a cake you simply can't do. Yeah, well, I learned quite a while ago that this cake case is not just about Masterpiece Cake Shop. This is about, like Christian just said, all Americans being able to live and work freely according to their conscience without fear of these mm -hmm. kind of punishments and this kind of st stuff going through the courts. Yeah. Well, we hope there can be a decision from the court to give everybody um, the resolution that they need, the guidance that they need. We'll keep tracking it and keep us updated. Thank you both. Thank you, Thank Jim. you. Following the focus on the Atlanta shooter's religious views implying his 